Hi everyone, I thought I would do a video that looked at how you calculate the percentage abundance of isotopes from relative atomic mass, but using a mathematical approach rather than the simplistic tug of war approach that I've used in a previous video. I'll put the link to that one at the top of the screen now and you can use that for simple scenarios where you have two isotopes to deal with. But if you've got three isotopes, you need to use this mathematical approach. So hence the video. Anyway, I hope you find it helpful. And if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you do so and pop a comment in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think of the video and maybe you could suggest a topic for a future video. Okay, so we'll make a start. Actually, before we do, I've just had some year 10 students in and they challenged me to give them a shout out. So I don't think they believed that I would. So this is for you, Katie. Alice, Lola, Pob, and Vihan. Right, told you I would do it. Okay, so we'll start with two isotopes. So we've got a sample of chlorine. It contains the standard chlorine-35 and chlorine-37 isotopes. But I've made the relative atomic mass slightly different to the norm. So normally it's 35.5. So I've changed it to 35.8. So we've got to use that information to work out the percentage abundance of the two isotopes. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to say one of the isotopes has a percentage abundance of X. So let's go for 35. So we'll say that that's X. So that means the percentage abundance of 37, remember percentages are out of 100, it's going to be 100 minus X. So now we've established that, we'll go sort of put it into the regular formula for calculating relative atomic mass, but we know the relative atomic mass is 35.8. So 35.8 equals, so remember it's isotopic mass times abundance, the sort of sum them. So it's going to be 35 times X, so 35X plus the other one, it's 37 times 100 minus X is the abundance of the 37, and that, that's got to be divided by 100. So we'll tidy that up, take the 100 over here, so it becomes 3580, so multiplying 35.8 by 100, 3580 equals 35x plus 37 times 100, so that's 3700, um, minus 37x. So it's 37 times minus x as well. Okay, so we need, to, obviously we need to solve for x. So if we take the x's onto this side, so that'll turn this into plus 37x on the left, that'll go to minus 35x. So that's 37x minus 35x equals, so that stays there, 3700 minus, when it goes on the other side, 3580. So obviously that's 2x, and that equals 120. So divide by 2, x equals 60. So the percentage abundance of chlorine 35 is 60%. So therefore the 37 isotope must be 100 minus that, 40%. So we'll move on to a more complicated one. So we've got three isotopes now. And I actually got this question from an AQA A-level paper. Um, it was worth four marks. So it's the kind of question that you could be asked. So we've got a sample of chromium. And it's got these three isotopes, 50, 52, 53. We're told that the chromium 52 isotope is 86.1% abundant and the relative atomic mass of the sample is 52.1. So we've obviously got to calculate the percentage abundance for the chromium 50 and the chromium 53. So the method's exactly the same as what you've just seen. So we'll just say that the percentage abundance for the 50 is X. You can do it either way around, but let's go for X. So the percentage abundance of 50 is X. We know 52 is 86.1. Um, so the chromium 53, remember these add up to 100, so the 53 is going to be 100 minus that minus that. 
which comes out at 13.9 minus x. So 100 minus 86.1 is 13.9 minus the x, and then you're left with the percentage abundance for the chromium 53. So what we can do now is put it into the formula. Remember, we know the relative atomic mass, so we start with that, 52.1 equals the isotopic mass times the percentage abundance. So we're going to get 50 times x, so 50x here, plus uh, 52 times 86.1 plus uh, 53 times 13.9 minus x, all over 100. So again, we're just solving for x, which will give us the chromium 50 percentage, and then we can work out the 53 from that. So take that over there, so it comes, becomes 5210 equals 50x plus 52 times 86.1, I've got the answers here, 4477.2, plus 53 times 13.9 is 736.7, 53 times minus x is minus 53x. Oops, don't need that bracket, do I? Okay, so tidy that up. Um, let's take the x's over here. So we're going to get 53x minus 50x, so we're left with 3x. That plus that minus that one, when it goes over there, comes out at 3.9. So we'll divide by 3, so x is there for 1.3% abundant. So this is 1.3. So the 53 isotope is 13.9 minus 1.3, 12.6%. Four marks for that.